Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Democracy Free Africa with me, Alpha Pi Omega and Nigeria. Last time we were kind of surprisingly elected again and we're gonna go through one more complete uh, turn and when we get re-elected then I'm gonna end with this country. But I just wanted to say that I'm really happy that I managed to do it uh, and I'm gonna bump up the intensity and by that I mean the difficulty of the next scenario up again. You know, so let's be fine. So what happened? Uh, asthma epidemic and border tensions are now at the end. 74% of people would vote for us and foreign minister resigned. It's kind of bad, though budget is good. We have a surplus of 88.5 billion nairos, which means that we are continually lowering the debt at this point, it's 10.61% of the GDP. That's good. That's good. Uh, it's it's a trillion, you know, 9.85 trillion, but we're going to lower it. Now, uh, I went around to check on how we're doing because it has been quite some time since I last recorded. Homelessness is going to go away. So is the military interference. Uh, poor transport links are going away. Uh, technology backwater is slowly reduced and uncompetitive economy is going down as well. So basically there is no long-term thing that would bother us. So what do we do? Well, we make sure that everything continues as it did till now. Uh, trade unions hate us though and so do liberals. Um, not sure how... they're very unhappy. Okay, well, uh, we can deal with that later on. Trade unions, though, um, I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm in one of the trade unions and I have quite s sharp ideas about uh, how the economy should work. Um, so I'm kind of going to do something now uh, that I would never do <laughs> or want in my own life or live in a country. Uh, where this would happen, but I'm gonna turn the market, well actually I'm not gonna do it now because we don't have enough capital, but we're gonna go from completed pro-employer to completed to pro-union, which is going to greatly reduce the working week, it's gonna piss off the capitalists a bit and lower our productivity a bit, but trade unions will be happy, socialists will be happy, trade unions will be rising, socialism will be rising, wages will go up and democracy will increase. So that's what we're gonna go for next uh, next turn. Our, first, we need to find someone for our foreign policy. Now, oh, is there anyone experienced? This guy really likes us, but he doesn't want to do foreign policy. Someone like who would be really good? You want foreign policy, and you're very loyal, but you kind of hate. Uh, hate the job and you don't know how to do it. This guy is... This guy is experienced. No. No, we, we don't have any other choice. So, Yonan, so Yona Solomon. You're the guy for the job. So next time we're gonna get 22 capital. So, uh, other than that, what I wanted to do is introduce a national monorail system because I haven't done that in a while and it takes 16 quarters to implement. So it's going to be our entire freaking uh, game, you know, the rest of the game. But I want to see Nigeria with a full fledged monorail system. It's going to be quite a heavy burden on our GDP. One thing though that I know is that we're going to go up from now. How do I know that? Well, simple. When you look at the GDP, which, by the way, where is it? It should be, this is public services, transportation, here. You can see that it's going up. And it's only going to get slightly better from now on. So, oh well, slightly better. It's going to get better every single turn. So we're going to go and introduce a national monorail system, which is going to kill the car usage. Uh, the urban people will like it. Unemployment will go down and infrastructure will go up. Um, especially going after the cars, because uh, I kind of hate cars and I would like to kill them. So if people would stop 
please driving around in those smoky vehicles, I would be greatly appreciative. So homelessness is now at the end, military interference is now at the end, and we got a stock exchange. Health is at max, education is going up, poverty is going down, unemployment is going down, and GDP, well, it's not going up. But the budget is a small surplus. Okay, so the monorail system will take some time to be introduced, as I see. Uh, what is the category? Transport. So it's here somewhere. Here. Yeah, the cost will increase with time as well, right? Or does it... No. Okay, so the, G the GDP went up a bit too. Good. Good. So we're still in a surplus. That's good. That is good. Now let's uh, move to pro-union life. I still have insufficient capital, right? Huh. Well, that's not what I was uh, expecting to happen, but okay. Now, how are we doing on uh, the pollution? Environmentalist. Replacement of wealth. The environment, and here should be pollution. We don't have any pollution, and environment is almost at max, and it's climbing, so there is no need to do anything for that. Law and order, freedom of information, a kind of introduction cost, five. Okay, let's do that. Corruption will go down, democracy will go up, and liberals will like it. Their numbers won't increase, which is good. Offer to build a national monument. During the nascent stages of our relationship with a new trading partner, they have offered to erect a national monument in our capital city. This will strengthen our political relationship with this country, but would like to anger our historical allies with whom they do not see eye to eye. As polite to decline the offer. Now the wealthy kinda don't like me. Hmm. It's an interesting thing to note. But oh my god, uncompetitive. Oh, it's the, uh, yeah, production. Hmm, we we'll need to do some... Wait, 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 wait. I haven't went pro-union, so what the hell happened with... With the economy? Did productivity drop? Unemployment... Is it the increasing unemployment? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Adult education subsidies aren't max. Is there anything that I could do? Labor laws, we already saw that. What else? Maternity leave, technology grants, they're at max. Okay. Then where is the productivity? This is... Okay, here, this is the productivity. Health... Is at max... Education... Is going up, that's good. Technology... Is going up. And wages... Are going up. Hmm... It's weird, there's not much we can do with that. We need to... We need to do something to make it work. Now, art subsidies I would like to introduce, but actually what about the capitalists now? They have the stock exchange, so... That one should make them happier, but offer to build a national monument is pissing them off, so it's... Zero, zero. How much are the... Where are they? Art subsidies. 23.4 billion. Uh, they increase tourism and foreign relations, so let's do it. Education. Oh, why do they have to... Increase liberalism? Well, what the hell, let's do it. Noble Peace Prize. Good. And budget still has a surplus, 90% of people would vote for me. Now was that kind of a slip of a tongue, or no? Damn. 
Yeah, it's the dropping unemployment. This is really hurting the productivity. Hmm. Well, technology backwater is slowing down. Full transport links will go away soon, hopefully. Well, I'm gonna kill it even more now that I'm gonna <laughs> wrap up the good old labor laws. But yeah, it has to be done. It has to be done. Toxic waste dump. A proposal has been put forward to construct a major toxic waste dump in our country. This facility will be very large, potentially creating many jobs in its construction. And there are concerns about its effect on the environment. Nobody wants toxic waste in their back garden, but we would be fools to turn our backs on the economic gains from setting up this facility. Not to mention the potential jobs. Besides, we can place the dump in a rural area where the jobs are needed and the risks are low. Let's do it. We have a surplus. Now let's see the environment. How it's gonna fare. Actually, where... Damn, the environmentalists are gonna be furious. Yeah. Well, we were doing everything for them, so they can actually shut the hell up. Currently working on welfare minister start of serving your government and may wish to leave their position and possibly politics altogether. You may be able to persuade them to stay by taking steps to further police their core supporters. Capitalists and ethnic minorities. <laughs> I don't think there's much I can do to make the capitals happen. We need to increase the GDP, that's all there is to it. But I'm kind of sad to say I don't know how. The gender inequality is taking it really low. Enterprise investment scheme is at max. I could go with capital equipment subsidies, but damn, look at those costs. Foreign invested tax breaks might be good as well. Work safety laws, tax shelters. Let's go with foreign investor tax breaks. Patreons will be furious, but I think they kind of like us, so it's going to increase the foreign investment in our country. Let's hope that's going to be what we need. Poor transport links are gone, and GDP bumped up greatly. We have a budget, oh, budget deficit of 111 billion. Education is going up, though. Is that the tax breaks? It can be the tax breaks. They're not that expensive, are they? Expenses for... Oh, no, they are! It's 192 billion. Oh, my God. I thought it was way less. Well, we'll hold the deficit for now. It's not such a big thing. Capitalists are kind of... Getting happier, so let's hope it's gonna work. Uh, technology backwater is not going down. Uncompetitive economy, though, is going up. Creationism versus evolution. And we piss off religious, and I kind of like that. How do they like us? Religious here. Kind of like us. So let's hope this is not gonna piss them off too much, but... I need to bump this down. So, oh, science funding is at minimum. That's the problem. Oh god, I forgot about that. Hundred and sixty two billion per quarter. Yeah, 
He sends this one up. Incomes. Relative GDP is going up. Though. No, we have to do it. We have to get rid of this stupid technological problem. That's going to be insane, but holy crap, it has to be done. That was also that. Uh, do, 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 where was it? Education. There was. Public libraries. Can make them slightly more expensive. I'm laying a lot of strain on the budget, aren't I? But we have to. We just have to. And then where's the fish? Where is the goddamn fish? Abortion law minority. Human development and technology grants. That's lowering their amount, but... Did I cancel that? I don't think you can cancel it. Is it in education? Yeah, here it is. Wait, did I increase it? I'm not entirely sure. Well, we'll do it next time. And what about here? Power box, which... Uh, Fortune Alliances. Damn, the wealthy are starting to be... Like, super pissed, but okay, there is not a big problem with that. What's my maximum political capital? Okay, we'll hit it. Resident credit facilities. Awesome. Capitalists like it. Poor don't, but whatever. Yeah, Ireland invaded. <laughs> 186 billion in deficit. I know. Oh my fucking god. That might be a bit problematic. But science funding will now start dropping this one really fast. It's gonna take some time though. Okay, I wanted to change the core of our system. How much? 27%. Okay, 